Hey guys, how's it going? Remember those video games Sir asks? Whatever happened to them? Well, today we're just gonna go through some of them. Some, some video game kiosks, some McDonald's kiosks, some hospital kiosks, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, let's just get started. The N64. It's a great system for what it was, and it was very popular in the 90s. Now, with its kiosk, it's just brimming with 90s energy. You see, I picked out consoles that have the most personality, you could say. The, the, the consoles that give off the most energy, I guess. Now, the N64 gives off big 90s aesthetics in a way, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And the, and the kiosk shows it, you know, it has this 90s flair to it, it has a weird Mario speaker to it, so this way, you know, whenever somebody plays it in the kiosk, whenever they're done with it, it's just, it's just like, hey, it's, it's a me, Mario, on to the next person, and, and yeah, I, I kind of like this kiosk for what it is, it has a, it has a great design, and yeah, just show it to the N64. All right, the original Xbox. Now, this is a big, bulky system. And the kiosk, uh, I can imagine the kiosk is heavy as shit. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just guessing. But yeah, this console is just brimming with that 2000s energy and vibe. And uh, yeah, just show it to the Xbox. It's a great system. All right, these McDonald's kiosks. Uh, you know, it must have been a good idea in the 90s, you know, hey, you got these N64s, why not put them in a play place, you know, play some R64 while you're eating a cheeseburger, why not? It, it must have been a good idea at the time, but just the fact that they're, you know, somewhat still around, they're just, the controllers are super greasy, the, the console must be dusty, you know, it, it I mean, I gotta think about it like this, you know, if somebody were to offer me a McDonald's N64 kiosk, what I buy it? I, I would say like a mixture of like yes and no. Like like I would take the console itself because I don't mind having another N64. And of course with the game style, I don't see you know take that. But I will not take those dirty ass controllers. And and just just imagine you know the the inside of that thing must be dusty, greasy, sticky. You know, like, like I, I would take it, I'll see, you know, clean it up as best as I can, but that would be it. What's All up, right, guys? You know, uh, I know this is not any wrestling hospital related, kiosk, but and I have a chance I, I to just, get this just um, like hospital. Like, as a collector, stand for this. Kiosk. Um, would I take right it? Right now, we're talking. I would about say price no, and, and I would like just take the games but and maybe the controllers because I do get it. You know, cause cause I, very I, know rare. I know this sounds stupid, but have, it's, um, it's probably haunted. Uh, you never know. Wii. But yeah, this is well, so weird. I'm not really, really wanting that one. I want, want, want this rare gem right here. I turned the bottom oh, down so I don't get copyright. And the controller Anyways, um, that's all I got for this video. It sounds stupid, but it's probably haunted. You know, you never know. But this is just a weird kiosk overall, and then I heard that there was a Wii one as well. You know, this this is just a weird subject to talk about for like a collector or whatever, because you know, I, I feel bad, you know, for the, for the people that had to use this back in the 90s, it's just, you know. Well, all right, off of that slightly depressing topic, uh, I think, uh, thank you for making this part of the video. If you want to, leave a like, maybe subscribe, tell me some of your weird kiosk Sound shaking, earth quaking, change.
touch me and I'll cut your friend. What do I care? That's a yellow pumpkin. <gasps> You're a racist! All pumpkins are racist. Very